1926, George S. Klassen wrote a book, The Richest Man in Babylon. The book teaches principles from ancient Babylonia that shows the secrets to building and sustaining wealth. The principles taught are quite simple and straightforward. Despite being written many years ago, they are quite applicable and still relevant today. In this video, I'll show you seven main ideas from the richest man in Babylon. First, save a portion of your earnings. For every 100 that you get as your income, save $10. This rule is called the pay yourself rule, where you set aside 10% of your earnings to pay yourself. Pay yourself, you may ask. Let me explain. Every time you buy food, gas, clothes or grocery, you are paying someone else. Spending all your earning on expenses can be linked to working just to pay someone else. You'll never be wealthy if you spend all your money and fail to pay yourself the 10%. There are two types of people. Those who spend all their earning first and save whatever is left, and those who save first and spend whatever is left. To be wealthy, you must choose to do the first. Pay yourself by setting aside one-tenth of your earnings. I had to set up a system to help me achieve this easily. You'll agree with me that saving can be a little bit difficult. I tried a lot of times to set apart that 10%, but whenever I did, no matter how much I disciplined myself not to touch it, I always did because of pressing need. So here is what I did. I registered on a secure and vetted online saving platform that deducts percentage of money from my account, immediately it's paid. This platform permits me to lock the cash for a particular period of time, refusing me access till the period was complete. This helps me to stay disciplined and committed to keeping this goal. You should try too. Second, reduce your expenses. Trust me when I say this, wealth must be built. Don't get carried away by get-quick-rich schemes. If you want to have lasting wealth, it must be built. Whilst it's easy to focus on earning more, you must be deliberate about reducing your expenses. At the start of the year, I reviewed my expenses and realized I've been spending more money eating out, buying new clothes and shoes. If by now you do not review your expenses and set a budget, you should. It's important in building wealth. So, immediately, I was aware of expenses. I knew I had to cut them down. Some by half and others completely. I count on the food easily. I only ate out when I returned too late and couldn't cook. I stopped buying clothes and shoes on impulse. I only bought the clothes when I really needed to. That discipline saved me a lot of money. There's an almost unavoidable fact. The more your income increase, the more expenses increase. Except you stop it. Yes. Building wealth requires discipline, especially in the area of expenses. Your income would never be enough. But you can strike a balance if you decide on what is a necessity and what is not. Even as you focus on increasing wealth, ensure to reduce your expenses. Third, put your money to work. To be wealthy, you must have multiple streams of income. Poor people work for money. Wealthy people allow their money to work for them. Putting your money to work means to invest. You do not only work for money, but that you now put money to work so that it brings in more money for you. You can never become truly wealthy if all you do is earn a salary. You must be willing to not just save, but to invest. Your money is seed. Don't treat it as a harvest. Plant it in the right soil and it will reproduce after its kind. Invest in assets, assets that will appreciate and bring you passive income. The advantage of generating passive income cannot be overemphasized. One day you'll be frail and stricken in age. You won't be able to go about working as you should. Then you would appreciate the decision of making investments. Sometimes there is a delay on payday or there is retrenchment in your company. Maybe you were even sacked. Your passive income would sustain you till you get back to work. I tell people all the time to invest in appreciable assets on a long-term basis. Don't be quick to invest in short-term assets, get-rich-quick schemes. They are not safe. A few years ago, I joined a Ponzi scheme on referral by my friend. 
It's a way to make quick cash, doing nothing. Well, so I thought. True to be told, I lost a large sum of money to that Ponzi scheme. Yes, I made a mistake, but you don't have to make them too. Nevertheless, I know better now. I only invest in non-depreciable assets with long-term returns. Fourth, invest in knowledge. You can become rich overnight if you rob a bank or you win the lottery. However, this doesn't guarantee that one is wealthy. Being wealthy takes time. It's a process that involves many failures and a few wins. The saying is true that little drops of rain make a mighty ocean. This is exactly what building wealth is. To be wealthy, you'll have to learn from your mistakes. No one has a perfect template to become wealthy. You'll have to experiment, make mistakes, study the patterns until you get it. Invest in yourself, improve your skills, take courses, stay updated on trends within your industry or niche. One of the greatest investments you can make is investing in yourself. The first time I invested in the stock market, I had a very little understanding. Everyone was investing in stocks. I didn't want to miss out. I pulled out a part of my savings, didn't make any research or seek advice. I just invested in the stock market. That didn't turn out well. The market crashed and I lost all of my money. However, I was determined to make profits from that investment. So I paid for course. I read materials, I studied the market closely. I became more knowledgeable about the stocks and made better investment decisions. To be wealthy, you must be willing to learn and pay the price for knowledge. Fifth, make informed decisions. People have lost years of saving because they made uninformed decisions. I know it's popularity peddled that no one becomes rich by staying in his comfort zone. You must take risks. I agree. However, I believe those risks must be calculated. Don't just jump at an investment opportunity because of the need to have an investment. Seek advice from people who are professionals in that field, who would help you make informed decisions and stop you from losing your money. While starting out, I tried my hands on almost every investment I came across. Whatever I caught wind of, I invested in. I heard about foreign exchange and was fascinated by how the whole forex ecosystem worked. I got a demo account, practiced a few times, borrowed some money from my friends and invested in it. It's easy, so I thought. True to be told, I lost all the money trading forex. However, I was wise enough to hire a professional to teach me how to navigate the markets and guarantee profit. Sixth, preparation is management for opportunities. Nothing happens by luck. Becoming wealthy is not and can never be a product of luck. It's very intentional. Contrary to popular belief, luck is not a random occurrence that happens to special people. Wealth is always a composition of 99% preparation and 1% luck. Opportunities always come to those that are prepared. Usain Bolt is not the fastest man in the world by luck. He was prepared. What we saw on the track was a product of years of training and preparation. It's the same with wealth. Those who appear as being lucky are those who are hardworking and vigilant enough to see opportunities and take actions. There is a story of two salesmen from different companies who were sent to a primitive community to sell clothes. The first salesman got there and was angry. He called the company and said, Why did you send me to this community to sell clothes? It's impossible to sell clothes here. All of them do not wear clothes. So the first salesman packed his things and left. The second salesman got to the community and immediately he saw the people. He called his company and said, send me more clothes. The people here do not wear clothes. Same problem, different perspectives, different eyes to spot opportunities. Seventh, have a plan for emergencies and the future. An occurrence like sickness, accidents, death or emergency are not things we wish upon ourselves or loved ones. However, it's wise to plan for a rainy day. A portion of your income should be set aside for these things. The retirement plan is not something you start 5 to 10 years to retiring. The earlier you start, the better it is. Not only would you live comfortably when you are old, but you'd also be able to take care of emergencies in case they occur. 
Never pass on the chance to get insurance for your health, life, house and car. Many wise parents have saved their children the strains of repaying student loans because they were wise enough to plan for the future. The best time to plan for the future was yesterday. The second best time is now. In summary, the secret to building a lasting wealth is developing the right culture of saving a part of your income and investing it wisely. Only after making informed decisions so that it can guarantee returns. You must also realize that working hard, taking action, seeing and taking advantage of opportunities are all recipes that attract good luck. Develop a lifestyle of investing in yourself to gain more knowledge and in the future to secure your retirement. We've come to the end. I hope you liked this video and you were able to learn a thing or two about building wealth. Please do me a big favor by hitting the like button and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button.